Welcome back, YouTube. Today we're going to look at some Nike Classics. Um, we've never seen a retro of these. I know a lot of people um, have a lot of love for these shoes, more than I even anticipated every time I post about them. But I thought it would be great to do a video um, of them today. So we have the Air Force 5. So on the left, we'll show the boxes first. Here's the Air Force Low. Both in black and white colorway. Made in Korea. And on the right side, those are 10 and a half, and then the size 11 of the Air Force 5 black and white, and this is the high top. So we'll take a peek inside, and here is the high top. So you see extremely, extremely high cut. We don't really see uh, these true high tops anymore from Nike. Midsoles are starting to crack a little bit. Worse, it seems like every time I open the box, um, it's inevitable. So, but yeah, they're still they're still holding up. And then on the left side here, I'll take a peek at the lows. Got the bubble hang tag from Nike. Charles Barkley wore the low top. So did um, Scott Williams from the uh, Chicago Bulls. And Scott Williams actually wore the low top and he wore the high top in the white and red. So it's pretty cool. Uh, a little bit of history background on each shoe. And on the high top, we have a little pamphlet here with the Admiral. Love that denim, denim style, just you know, pure nineties with the Air Force jogger pants, parachute pants, however you want to call them. It's a beautiful colorway, the Air Force Five high. A lot of denim. So in a second, we will dive into taking the shoes out and having a little side by side. So on the left side here, we have the low top, and on the right, we have the high. So you see the leather, nice, durable uh, leather. The tongue is synthetic, so you can see there's cracking. The low top's not as bad. It's a little sticky. You can see the Air Force uh, stamping there on the tongue. And the high top version on the right, it's a little more cracked. I'm not even going to pull them, really. Might be able to see a little bit here. Both very similar makeups. You can tell from, you know, the toe cap and up the foot, just a higher, lower cut version. Same lining, also, you see. And then we're going to look at the heel. You really see the true height difference of how Nike used to make a true high top versus a low cut version. So you can see the right side is much higher. It's funny how how tall you know the laces come up here even. And on the lower cut version, pretty much the same branding. This is actually you know all level. The accent around the back of the heel, around to the mud guard. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much pretty much the same. It's a little higher here. And this curves down a little bit more, but you have all this netting, all this padding. Really, you know, support your ankle. Back in the day. It's a beautiful shoe. Um, I know a lot of people just would, you know, love to see this retro come back, like we see with the Flight 89s, and I certainly would love to see that as well. So next we'll go. Let's go toe to toe. You know, it's pretty much the same. You know, same exact design, um, just a lot higher cut. Beautiful toe box. Love, you know, a little different style, you know, air unit that we saw compared to, you know, the Jordan 3, 4, 5. Um, and then you have the Fly 89. It's a little different shape, so it's kind of kind of unique. 
in its own way. Put down, look at the outsole. This is both dead stock. Yeah, this is a 10 and a half. So classic Nike. The stars. Big branding, you know, if they just wanted to wanted that name out there, so it's pretty cool. Big and bold shoe. Nike branding on the inside. Uh, the high top's gonna be high and hard to see, but we can see the uh, low top. They both have the, the white Nike stamp. And the netting, it kind of reminds you of the Jordan 4, you know. Off the back here. It's a really cool shoe. I just, you know, my brother and I, we both weren't able to get Jordans or, you know, the high end shoes all the time. So sometimes we had the takedown models of the forces and the flights. So just having these pairs is really cool just to see, you know, after all this time, have the, the higher end shoe now um, to chase down and find these. It's pretty awesome. I brought out also with uh, the Scott Williams talk. Uh, I brought out my Bulls bomber. So shout out to Jeremy. He basically uh, hooked me up, sent it for free. Um, so that was really nice of him. I appreciate it. And definitely, you know, Chicago uh, winters, it's uh, coming in handy about now. So wear it with pride and hopefully I can actually wear that to a, a Bulls game. Um, doesn't look like this season, but maybe, maybe next or we'll see when. Uh, Maybe we'll get some games this year, but maybe it won't be that cold. So either way, awesome jacket and very happy to have that. Hope you guys enjoyed a little review, a little march down uh, memory lane per se, as we have the high top on the right. We'll pull them back here. And then we have the low top on your left. Don't forget to uh, subscribe. Follow me at OG or Bus on Instagram. And have a good one.